You know, I had somebody the other day said, you know, do you have a, do you have a retirement plan? And I'm not, to, look, it'd be nice to have, I'd, I'd, I'd love to have a lot of things like that. I really would. Just, you know. But I said, um, no, I don't. Well, you know, you hit 65, and I'm telling you. And I'm like, well, and I literally said, don't say it, Jim. Don't say it. <laughs> so I didn't. But what I wanted to say was, oh, I, I'm, I'll be doing this till my last breath. I will. And, and wherever I am today, I'm very content, and I'm very grateful, and yet I have more bigger dreams, more things that I want to create. So I just wanted to share that. I just wanted to say that as you walk from the 43 bus, some of you walk from the 43 bus or whatever in the hell it is to here on rainy, crappy days, cold nights, walking home. Some of you are in jobs that you really cannot stand, but it helps right now pay for your dream. Some of you are living in situations that aren't ideal as you sacrifice and lay this foundation. And, and if you can, if you can look at it differently, just look at it differently, you are one of the blessed few in this world, really, <coughs> as you walk through this door tonight. You are literally living your dream. You are. And you will always hunger for more and, and desire as, a, as an artistic creator for more. That's a good thing. The artistic spirit, that's a great thing. But try as best you can, because I'm going to tell you something. I may have said this before. I, you know, I just don't know where the time went, but I did. I really did start 25 years ago, which means, you know, in about another month or so would have been the end of June. It, it would, 23 years ago, I stopped being a student in, in these chairs. 23 years ago. And I look back now at my time in, in the class when I had nothing. I drove a shit car that I had to park on the side of a hill because I had to drop the clutch to start it. My wife had the good car. I had the shit car. I'd go on auditions in Hollywood. I'd pull right up. There'd be a spot in front. I'd go, I can't take it because i got to go find a fucking hill to get out of here. I used to have to bring a jug of water and a quart of oil always with me because the thing leaked like a sieve. True story, I drove this car for two years in L.A. because couldn't, we couldn't afford another car. And I would sit in class uncertain, surrounded by people so much more prettier, more talented, more everything. Famous people sitting behind me intimidated, scared, overwhelmed sometimes. It felt like I was eight gazillion miles away from it ever even being anything other than a lot of wasted money and time. I look back now, 23 years later, on that chair I sat about where you sit, Mari. It's about where I sit. And I count that I look back on that time. I have such chair. I cherish. I was absolutely living my dream. I couldn't possibly be where I am today without any of that. Oh, my God. And, of course, someday I'm going to say about this current chapter, oh, my God. I look back on that school and the Presidio and what we created. I couldn't possibly be here if it weren't for that. And I have a lot of pressures and fears and stresses and things. This isn't all Wonderland candy ice cream, trust me. I 
Although sometimes when someone's here, we're here and we're in the same career path and they're here, we look at that with such envy, desire, longing, etc. But trust me, it's, we, you know, <laughs> anyway. So I just wanted to share that because last night I saw what courage and passion can do. I experienced what it was like to be around someone who was truly supposed to be what they were, you know, they were doing what they were here to do, period. Whether it's a 10,000 seat arena or a, you know, 40 people in a nightclub. Try to see it that way. I'm talking about a dream. And had that dream come true, started exactly where you have all started. Or where he did, where he got handed yeah. to talk. Hours later, I'm standing on a seat, <laughs> screaming, Bruce! I, 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 yes! I do know fairies. They're nearly all dead now, you see? When the first little tiny baby, the first one, first one, the first